So I've decided to uh, film my videos inside my office uh, because I'm soundproofing the office in here. I know it sounds echoey for now, but um, the more I go, you know, the more acoustic stuff are gonna appear behind me, in front of me, everywhere in the office. And I've decided to do that, you know, in front of my little library. So that being said, I had to get rid of some books, 30 to be exact. So I'm, uh, I'm getting rid of 30 books. So I'm going to actually film myself, you know, filling the box and, you know, showing the books that I'm going to get rid of and also while explaining why I'm getting rid of uh, these books essentially. But as I said, it was to make some place for <laughs> books that I'm going to buy in that small library that I've got right here. So here we are. I have my box ready in here. I've got all the books that I'm going to get rid of. So firstly, I'll have Sepulcher by James Herbert. Uh, so as I said, it's just books that I'm no longer going to read. Um, so there are a lot of books in here that I really enjoyed, but it's just that I know for a fact that I'm not going to read them again, actually. And we have James Herbert, The Dark. So once again, I really enjoyed James Herbert. It's just that I know for a fact that I'm not going to read these two books again, ever, actually. Uh, then we have Arthur C. Clarke, 2010 Odyssey, 2061 and 3001. Final Odyssey, mainly because I really enjoyed 2001 uh, and I'm keeping 2001 because I know that I might read that book again, you know, soon, actually. And then we have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I really enjoyed them. I know in my video I said that I was going to read them again. Uh, that being said, I don't really think I'll be doing that. Uh, instead, I'll just rewatch the movies if I ever want to go back into the Lord of the Rings um, territory, actually. Uh, then I have Bilbo the Hobbit, but the French version. So this book I'm going to actually read again, but in English, not in French. Uh, so I'm getting rid of the of this book only because it's in French and it has nothing to do with the fact that it's The Hobbit. It's just, once again, the fact that it's in French uh, mainly. Uh, same thing with this book right here, uh, Joe Hill, so The Fireman. Uh, it's only because it's in French, this one, once again. So I might buy this book uh, in English um, instead of having it in French, actually. Uh, then we have the Winter Long series by Elizabeth Hand. I really enjoyed them, uh, but I don't think I'll be reading these books again. So I'm just going to get rid of these books, actually. Then we have Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. I really enjoyed this book once again. It's just that I don't think I'll be reading that again. Then we have Roger Zelazny, uh, Isle of the Dead and To Die in Italbar. I kind of liked them, but yeah, getting rid of it once again. Then we have Ship of Fools by Richard Paul Russo. It's a very good sci-fi story, one that I really enjoyed about kind of the origins of evil and all of that. I really liked this book. Uh, but that being said, I'm, I don't think I'll be reading that book again, actually. Uh, then we have The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I've had this book for so long now. I've read it a couple of times. Uh, but that being said, I just, I don't think I'll read this book again. So down in the box it goes. And then we have uh, The Legend of uh, the King of Elfland's Daughter, sorry, by Lord Dunsany. I liked it. Uh, fantasy is not my cup of tea, though, so in the box it goes. Then we have Stir of Echoes by Richard Matheson. I really enjoyed that book again. Uh, just that I don't think I'll be reading that book again, uh, actually. Then we have another series of books. So The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I had all five books I kind of liked it I think I really enjoyed the three first books book four and five were meh, in my opinion 
Uh, I don't think I'll ever read these books again, unfortunately. Then we have Roadside Picnic by Arkady and Boris Trugatsky. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, that being said, I might pick this book in French instead, being a translation from Russian. Uh, you know, so I might, you know, get a better understanding of the story, actually. Uh, we have another book by Elizabeth Hand, so Illyria. Uh, I really enjoyed that book. Um, but that being said, you know, once again, I don't think I'll ever read this book again, unfortunately. Then we have Alfred Bester, The Stars My Destination. This, uh, <laughs> this book, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's, yeah, a lot of stuff is happening within this book. Uh, but I, once again, I don't think I'll ever read that book again. In the box it goes. Then we have The Dark Beyond the Stars by Frank M. Robinson. Um, I really enjoyed that book once again. Uh, the only thing I didn't really like was the ending. I kind of get it, but they didn't really connect it with the end. But in the box, it goes also. And lastly, the last book I'm going to put in the box is Ken Follett. Ken Follett. I don't know how to say his name, sorry. A Dangerous Fortune. Uh, I really enjoyed that book. It's a big book. It's a, yeah, it's a chunky book. Uh, so yeah, once again, I don't think I'll read this book again, actually. And this is it. This is my box. So it was kind of hard to select these books. I know it might not seem like it, but I had a, a lot of questioning to do, you know, which books I was going to get rid of. And this is kind of, a, in my opinion, a healthy thing to do, you know, once in a while to just get rid of some stuff that you're no longer using or you know for a fact that you won't be using in the near future. I don't really know where these books are going to go for now. Uh, I know I've put them on for sale, you know, on Marketplace. But that being said, you know, I'm in a French part of Canada, so... Uh, not everybody's looking for English books. Uh, I don't really know. Maybe I'll just put them, you know, um, into a local library or something like this, you know, for uh, <clears throat> just a donation or something like this. Uh, thank you guys f for watching this video. Uh, it actually means a lot. Once again, it was not an easy thing to do, uh, getting rid of these books. It's never easy to get rid of things, but I think it's a healthy thing to do once in a while. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.